Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Sinta Dewi I am from Physics Education 2019 Class A UIN Syarif Hidayatullah Jakarta I am going to explain about Archimedes Principle Happy watching Archimedes Principle Before we going to learn about what is Archimedes Principle We should be know about who is Archimedes Archimedes was born in 287 BC in the city of Syracuse, which is located on the east coast of the islands of Sicily, Italy. He is the most famous mathematician and inventor in ancient Greece. Archimedes is a scientist who found a way and a formula to calculate the volume of the object that don't have a standard form. And how this story began? His discovery occurred when King Hieronto asked him to investigate whether his gold crown was silver or not. Archimedes thought about this problem seriously. He stopped eating, sleeping, and bathing while he tried to solve the problem. Eventually, his student dragged him into the bathhouse to clean himself, because he was beginning to seriously leak. When he lied down in the bath, some of the water splash over the edge of the tap, where the water spilled due to buying of the liquid after measuring, it turns out to be proportional to its body size. The buying that occurs due to pressure on each part of the surface of an object that is in contact with the fluid. The pressure is greater on the part of the object which immerses deeper. And what is Archimedes Principle? Archimedes Principle is a physical law of buoyancy stating that anybody completely or partially submerged in a fluid, which is gas or liquid, at rest is occupied by an upward or buoyant force the magnitude of which is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. So, the object will float drift or drowning is the result of buoyant force caused by a liquid substance and then retrieved by the object. When an object is immersed fully or partially in a fluid, the upward force applied by the fluid on the object is the same as the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Okay, before we continue to our material, we should be know about what is fluid. Fluid is a substance that doesn't maintain a force shape but has the ability to flow. Next to our material, from the description before, we can take the conclusion about buoyant force. So buoyant force is the weight of how much fluid is displacing by the object. Then buoyant force equals with weight at its place fluid. So, buoyant force equals with the density of the fluid times the volume of the fluid that's been displaced so that the volume of the object that immerses in the fluid. Now, we move to learn about object in Archimedes principle. When the object are deep in liquid, there are three possibilities that occur, namely drowning, floating, and drifting. First, drowning. Objects are called drowning in liquid when the position of the object is always located on the base where the liquid is located. The objects are called drowning when the buoyant force less than the weight of the object and the density of the objects more than the density of the fluid. Second, floating. The objects are called floating when the position of a part of the object appears to be surface liquid and partially immersed in a liquid substance. The objects are called floating when the buoyant force equals with the weight of the object and the density of the objects equals with the density of the fluid. But the volume of the objects are more than the volume of the liquid. Third, drifting. The objects are called drift in a liquid substance when the position of the objects 
under the surface of a liquid substance and on the basis of where the liquid is located. The objects are called drifting when the buoyant force equals with the weight of the object and the density of the objects equals with the density of the fluid and the volume of the objects equals with the volume of the liquid. That's all explanation about Archimedes principle. The search is taken from Thank you for watching and I hope it can be useful for us. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.